You're now kicking it with Brother Smalls, and I'm here with April Vinson of Soul Candles. She's a meal prep specialist, chef, health and life coach, power lifter, spin instructor, athlete, wife, and mom, and owner of Soul Candles. April, how are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Wow. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And I'm so appreciative. I got a package about a week ago with some really good smell good. Tell us about Soul Candles. Oh, man. So Soul Candles was actually a business that I started in 2020. Um, It was so well, let me take it back a little bit. During the pandemic in 2020, um, my husband had a bleed on his brain. So he had to have a series of three surgeries from May of 2020 to July of 2020. And during this time, I was also pregnant with our son, who's now going to be four. So while he was going through it, like, it was just, it was insane. But let me tell you about prayer and the power of prayer that got us through and our village that we were surrounded by. Like we couldn't have made it, but, um, so he went through all of his surgeries. He did end up having a stroke and he was, he's had aphasia. He was unable to speak. He was unable to really swallow. Um, he had to go to a rehabilitation center. So all of this happened, but the way that he recovered, like the, so it could only be God, the way that he recovered. I mean, when I still look at him to this day, I'm like, wow. Just because he's, he seems like if you speak to him, you see him, like you wouldn't even know mm. what he's been through. You wouldn't know. But, um, so. A walking testimony. He is. He is. And honestly, I think he should come on your show one day and, because hey, no, I, I would love to have him. I would love to actually have you both uh, back. Yeah. Um, you beat me to the punch. Usually <laughs> I ask my interviewers, hey, will you come back on the show? So we already got it set yes. that you, you and your husband will be back on the show. And I would love to hear uh, about that story. I would love to hear oh uh, from him about, um, you know, what God has brought you both through. Um, I got this package and I want to thank yeah. you so much. Uh, when I do interviews, I get, you know, packages of products and that sort of thing. And you you sent me uh, a package of candles and smell good. Tell us about Soul Candles. So Soul Candles. Um, <laughs> it's so during that time, that difficult time in 2020, um, I needed something else to do. Like after the birth of my son, like everything had calmed down and I started baking cakes and I was baking cornbread. And my husband's like, listen, we can't have all this stuff around. You got to find something else to do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. So I went on Amazon um, and I looked at one of the do it yourself kits. So I'm like, oh, okay, candles. And then I saw different waxes. So I'm like, okay, well, let me research waxes. So I researched waxes and I came across beeswax. I'm like, okay, well, beeswax. Because I know beeswax is in everything and I'm familiar with it. But I didn't know, like once I read that it has negative ions in it and the air has positive ions. So with the negative ions or positive ions, it just, it purifies the air in your home. And I'm like, oh my God. I was like, we need this. And I'm like, can I make candles? And I'm like, okay, well, let me see. So I got the kit and just took off from there. So I make affordable products that are natural, that are good for the environment. And I research the companies where I also get my oils from to make sure that my oils are clean and they don't have any chemicals, any phthalates or anything like that. So it's, it's, it's affordable, organic. I use hemp wicks. I also use cotton wicks that are organic, um, wooden wicks. Like all of my products are natural, which is good for the environment. And I also want it to be not just good for my home, but for my customers. No, I appreciate that. And actually, 
when we got the package, my wife opens up the package and she's like, mm, oh my goodness. And you just get hit with all of these amazing aromas. And, uh, you know, so, so we, we kind of, we're kind of foraging through the package and I happened upon sangria, right? Oh, so yeah. I, you know, one of the things, you know, after a hard day's work, you know, get the bath going, <laughs> Got the candles. I mean, and it's so, it, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. And I have the sangria, sangria right here. I mean, it's just like, whoo, ah, it's, it's really, really nice. And, and again, thank you so much. You Interesting thing about your company and your products, they are so varied. I mean, so I have sangria here, right? Yes. And then I have, you know, something called uh, Caribbean Crazy, oh, Caribbean yeah. Crazy, yes, uh, and, Sun um, Kiss, uh, on the Sunday Caribbean, Morning. The Caribbean Crazy, um, I make that one, and it supports breast cancer. Ah, yes, yeah. Let's go right. Let's go there because I I do see right the you know the ribbon right there for for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. awareness i do see the ribbon there and that's you know and so um a portion yes. of uh the proceeds go to breast uh, help breast cancer uh, awareness and uh the fight against uh, breast cancer uh i can definitely you know appreciate that you know um I can definitely appreciate that. I uh, I lost my wife, my first wife, to breast cancer. Yeah. So um, that's something that uh, obviously is near and dear to my heart. In the sense that uh, you know you don't you you don't want people to suffer, right? You want people to have a vibrant and a fulfilled life. Yeah. And um, I appreciate that. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is there's another scent. Uh, called on the spectrum oh yes yeah tell us about that on the spectrum <laughs> so um deals with autism for me but the yes <laughs> the spectrum is is it, it's not a straight spectrum let's say um so i can start with my oldest daughter samira so she's 20 years old now, but when she was born, um, she was 23 weeks and well, one pound, four ounces when I had her. Um, so they did say at the hospital, she might have some developmental delays or some physical delays or deficiencies, you know, because she was so preemie. So in third grade, um, her teacher gave me a call. She's like, you know, Miss Bryant, we have to meet because... I'm not sure how to teach your daughter. So I'm like, okay. Like she's been to like, she started off in Catholic school and then we moved and then she was in a public school. So I'm like, I've never heard this before, but okay. Um, so I met with the teacher. She's like, you know, things that should be hard for Samira is not hard for her. Things that should be easy for her is hard for her. She's like, you know, she's really making me like, work like work earn my degree in a sense of like okay I have no idea what you're talking about but mm -hmm. okay um she's like I think you should get her evaluated I'm like okay perfect what do I do how do we do it what's the process so we went through the process of getting Samara evaluated and from the evaluation they just put her on an IEP they didn't test her for autism or anything else that was on the spectrum. I guess the spectrum wasn't that, there wasn't a lot of information at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so she was put on an IEP and put into special education. And some classes that she needed a co-teacher for, she got a co-teacher, but eventually she didn't need any co-teacher when she got to the 12th grade her senior year. Um, although that was still available to her and now she's in college, she's able to still have like, um, the benefits of her IEP in college, which is great for her, but it always seemed like there was something else there, like the way she functioned, the way she did things. And 
knowing what I know now, because our three-year-old son, he was diagnosed with autism. Wow. So some of the things that I see in him, I saw in her, and I had no idea what was going on. And at the time, I was a single mom, so I was just working, working, working. But it's like, wow, so this is what that was. This is what that is. So I'm actually in the process of helping her to get um, evaluated to see if she has autism. So mm. we're on the wait list for that now. Um, but with our son, Yasha, God, he's such a sweet. Wow. So, so again, you, you, you're thoughtful in a sense of this on the spectrum uh, scent. It, it has orange, orange blossom, cotton, linen, sandalwood, and and like a powder, powdery yeah. smell to it. And so um, you had mentioned that, you know, this business was kind of formed, you know, during a tumultuous time, during a time where there was a lot of uh, things going on in the country, in the world, yes. um, but also in your immediate family. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and so a lot of the products uh, from what I was un understand are really focused on being um, a benefit to the family, right? And so yeah. it's like a like a communal type of uh, uh, ethic in what you do. So is this it's a spectrum um, sent also go goes towards autism um, autism speaks foundation aut aut autism speaks foundation wow that's wonderful not only do you get great products but uh the products help to support uh you know great institutions and agencies that are helping uh people in this nation and throughout the world that's amazing that really is amazing so um so you have these you know you have these scents you have uh candles i you know you i got a spa day salt you know, thing. I'm like, I got all of this stuff and I got these beautiful soaps. You got oh. these soaps. Oh my <laughs> God. Mango honey soap. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Mango yeah. honey soap. My, when my, when my wife, um, uh, opened up that box, she's like, this is a man box. This is a, like, this is like, I, I don't know. I, I think it's just really smells delicious. And then you have here, um, this one is Oh Honey. Oh, Oh Honey Soap. Oh Honey. Oh yeah, Honey. So it has okay. Oh Honey Soap. Oh, you are not, you, tell me about some of these names. Honey. Tell me, tell me, how did you get these? Some, <laughs> how did you get the Oh Honey Soap name? Honestly, <laughs> I'm like, what name should I use for oatmeal and honey? I was like, Oh Honey. Okay. So, no, it's amazing. Okay, and this okay. last one is the uh, nothing honey soap. So it's nothing but honey. There's jojoba oil. Um, there's castor oil. And there's another oil that I put in there that I forgot. But it's nothing but the honey broken down into the soap base and the oils infused with it with the candle flower. That's it. It's just nothing but honey. No, I cannot wait. It's like I wanted to do the interview because now after the interview, I can start to break this open, break this stuff open yes. and, and start to use all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll definitely drop uh, comments. How do people um, find your products? How do people, you know, support what you're doing? <clears throat> so I have a website. Mm -hmm. It's www.soulcandles.org. Um, so they could go to my website or I usually post the vendor pop-ups that I'm doing. So if they look on my Instagram, um, they what's your also... Instagram handle? Oh, sorry. My Instagram handle is at underscore soul candles. Okay. So okay. if they go there, you'll see all the vendor events that I'm doing. Um, I usually do one to two per month because they are a ton of work and I have a family that I run also. So, yes so i don't have time to do one like every single week because right. like, it's got a lot going on got a lot going on actually yeah. that was gonna be my next question because when you think about it you know you're running a business right and then mm -hmm. when i was doing your like uh your introduction right you, you're a strength um you're 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 a, a power lifter spin instructor you know chef and 
you know, and then you have this, um, you know, this business and obviously you're, you know, your mom and running a, a family. Uh, how do you make it all work? Oh, man. Let me tell you, it's like uh, everybody has to pitch in, honestly. Uh, um, so it's like I'll do, let's say I do the admin. I do the scheduling. I uh, hand out the jobs. Like when my husband gets home from work, he's a personal trainer. He'll come home and um, usually he'll come home in the evening. So if the kids had their spaghetti and everything, you know, he gives them hugs and kisses, but then he gets to work. He'll start sweeping the floor, picking up the toys. My daughter, she'll be in the kitchen. She'll be washing the dishes. So it's like everybody. And it's like, um, I have a schedule. Yeah. So everybody like on certain days, you have certain tasks that need to be done because I, in, in the beginning, I used to just do it all. Yeah. And then I was like driving myself crazy. I'm like, there's no way because no. then I have no time for myself. Right. So it's like everybody has to have a job because we have to make it work for each other. Yeah, no, that's that's interesting that you do that all hands on deck. Uh, yeah. And you, you develop uh, products that get into not only the, you know, protecting the family, you talked about the all natural ingredients, but you, yeah. but also the self-care, right? With oh, all yeah. of that that's going on and what people have to deal with. You know, to be able to kind of go to your uh, your your bathroom, right, and mm -hmm. just kind of be transported into another yes. environment, right, with the yeah. scents and with the yeah. you know the really that self care. Tell us a little bit about that process and in your your production and what you've done. Um. So what I usually do when I take time out to work on my business is like after the kids go to bed, or it's like on the weekend on my husband's day off but in that in between time I'm always thinking of the next product because usually I'll get inspired by a song or I'll hear on the radio like um oh Marvin Sapp he saw the best in me yeah what does this smell like because when I think about that song and the feeling that I get from it it's like I try to come up with a scent for that and what I do with my scents is I blend them myself so I put them together and I just get the the thought of he saw the best in me what does that like it, it it's like it enlivens you it makes you feel whole and it's like there's this feeling like a hug you get from hearing that mm -hmm. oh that's what I'm actually that's my next scent I'm working on so, oh, I love it! Yeah, I can't, I, yeah, I can't wait to get I it. I can't like wait to purchase it. So that, many that, people can relate to that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, he saw the best of me, and and just the scent because you you I think I read on your your website about how it kind of your products help to lift people's spirits, help help yes. to kind of lift people up, right? Yes. And um, I tell you, America get get these products because again you'll just notice as soon as you open up the package you're kind of my goodness um uh, it's just amazing this all the various different scents you can just smell it it's just you can smell the care mm -hmm. you can smell the love you can smell the intention and the 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 affection uh in each one of the products and so uh do yourself a favor and get soul candles it's soulcandles.org correct yes soulcandles.org that's what I, want be, I want you to have that experience of opening that box and just mm -hmm. getting that smell that's like a hug before right. you even open a candle it's like oh already if you had a hard day that first mm -hmm. scent it's just like oh okay yeah no well, I feel so much better <laughs> You know, it's truly aromatherapy. It yeah. it really, it truly is aromatherapy. April, um, before we go, I wanted to ask you, um, I, I've, I've kind of learned a lot of different things about you just from reading on your website and what you've been able to, to tell, tell us here. Tell us about something that we don't know about you that's, you know, that, you know, the audience would find interesting or, you know, intriguing. Um, that... I, <laughs> there are a couple of things, but um, I have my yin 
yoga certification. Mm -hmm. And with yin yoga, that deals with the um, joints and connective tissues that are in the body. Mm -hmm. So with yin yoga, you're holding poses for three to five minutes, as opposed to like a vinyasa, where you're just flowing. Because we beat our bodies up all day, like every day, all day. And then even if we go to the gym, it's like we're on machines. And, yeah. you know, so me being a power lifter and a spin instructor, I was usually like tight. So I had to find something to help me um, with my connective joints and my tissues and the fascia that's also mm -hmm. in the body. Mm -hmm. So yin yoga was perfect for me. And it really did that. Um, and it's just so beneficial. I haven't really announced that I'm certified yet because I haven't started teaching, but it's just the knowledge that I personally gained from it and how it helped me overall. Wow. Wow. Well, th thank you for, for sharing that. And it, it sounds like, again, that, you know, you're looking to um, just, uh, you know, benefit, you know, soul, uh, 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 mind, body, and soul, just kind of um, the, the whole, uh, being of, of a person and, and, you know, that, that's, that's, that's amazing. Uh, like, like you said, you know, we work all day, we beat ourselves up and that sort of thing We're stressed. And so to, to come home and to, you know, put on a candle or, or like I do run a bath and, you know, put a candle that's on or that sweet. sort of thing. Um, that's, that's so beneficial. And then, uh, and obviously, um, taking some time away, right? Breathing and, and taking yeah. some time away, just collect your thoughts and that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's definitely impactful. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to, again, give you uh, another opportunity before we say uh, good night and goodbye to our audience. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Well, my business is, is honestly centered around my family, mm -hmm. like the sangria candle that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. My oldest sister, Sylvia, she always makes sangria. Mm -hmm. So it's like <laughs> when making that candle, it's like I drew senses from the sangria that she makes. <laughs> well... Well, yeah. uh, just just like uh, oh. hey, we yeah, we we might have to get together and, and then, uh, uh, we might have morning. to get together and we might have to try the sangria. And and the Sunday morning candle. Oh, like, it reminds me of my mom on Sunday mornings, like yes. you yes. get up, go to church, man. Yeah. So it's it's all centered around my family. Oh, and another thing is that yes. I'm also a chef. Yes, I went to Johnson and Wales University in Providence, Rhode Island, yeah. and I was inspired by my brother, Keith. So, <laughs> yes, but that lifestyle is completely crazy. Yeah. So, like after I have my daughter, it's like, okay, I got to scale that back because there's yeah. no, like working 12 to 16 hour days. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. After I no. have her. You know, big up to your brother, uh, Keith Bryan. He was always support to me. Uh, he was a, c a caterer and I would yes. use his services uh, if I was running some type of uh, corporate event. Uh, and he mm -hmm. always uh, would come out and, uh, you know, and support and uh, and support me uh, in that. So, you know, big up to, to Keith. Yeah, he's still, still doing it now. Still doing this thing. Still, still doing, doing this thing. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, you guys, uh, do yourself a favor and and check out her candles and different products, April's uh, candles and different products at soulcandles.org. I'm telling you, you will not regret um, getting some, some of these products. They're just amazing. All right. Uh, this has been a great interview. Uh, you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. And smile. Remember, every heartbeat is grace. Cherish life and spread love, y'all. Peace.